Well, have I not reason? Belle Dams as you are, saucy and overbold. How did you dare to trade and traffic with Macbeth in riddles and affairs of death? And I, the mistress of your charms, the close contriver of all harms, was never called to bear my part or show the glory of our art. And which is worse, all that you have done have been but for a wayward son spiteful and wrathful, who, as others do, loves for his own ends, not for you. But make amends now, and get you gone, and at the pit of Acheron, meet me in the morning. Thither he shall come to know his destiny. Your vessels and your spells provide, your charms and everything beside. I am for the air. This night, I'll spend to a dismal and fatal end. Great business must be wrought ere noon. Upon the corner of the moon there hangs a vaporous drop profound. I'll catch it ere it touch the ground, and that distilled with magic slights shall raise artificial sprites, and by the strength of their illusion shall draw upon him his confusion. He shall forsake fate, scorn death, and bear hopes above wisdom, grace, and fear. And you all know security is mortal's chiefest enemy. Hark! I am called. My little spirit, see, sits in a foggy cloud and stays for me. Come, let us make haste. She'll soon be back again. Thrice the brindled cat hath mewed. Thrice and once the hedge pig whined. Harfier pies his time his time. Round about the cauldron go, in the poisoned entrails throw, told that under cold stone, days and nights has thirty-one sweltered venom sleeping got, boiled though first I the charmed pot. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. For a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth, boil and bubble. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron, bubble. Scale of dragon, tooth of wolf, witch's mummy, maw and gulf, other raven, saucy shark, boot of hemlock, dig in the dark, liver of blaspheming Jew, gall of goat, and slips of you. Slivered in the moon's eclipse, nose of Turk and Tartar's lips, finger of a burr strangled, babe dish delivered by a drab. At make the rule thick and slab, and there too tiger's children for the ingredients of our cauldron. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron bubble! Cool it with the baboon's blood, then the charm is firm and good. Oh, well done! I command your pain, your pains. And now we can all share in the games. So about the cauldron let's sing, like elves and fairies around the ring, enchanting everything that we put in. Black spirits and white. Red spirits in gray, mingle, mingle, mingle what may. <sighs> By the pricking of my thumb, something wicked this way comes. Open, locks, whoever knocks. 
Oh no, you sneak your black and midnight hags. What is you do? A, a deed, deed without, without a name. name. I conjure you by that which you profess. However you come to know it, answer me. Will you untie the winds and let them fight against the churches? Will the yeasty waves confound and swallow up navigation? Will bladed corn be lodged and trees blown down? Till castles topple on their warders' heads? Till palaces and pyramids do slope their heads down to the foundations? Till the treasure of nature's Germans topple all together, even till destruction sicken? Answer me to what I ask you. Demand. We'll answer. Say if they'll rather hear it from our mouths or from our masters. Calm, let me see him. Poor in sow's blood that hath eaten her nine farrow. Grease that sweat and from the murder's gibbet throw into the flame. Tell me thou unknown power. He knows thy thoughts, hear his speech, but say thou not. Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Beware Macduff, beware the pain of fight. Dismiss me. Whatever thou art, for thy good caution, thanks. Thou hast heart my fear aright. But one word more. He will not be commanded. Here is another more potent than the first. Macbeth! 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 Had I three years, I'd hear thee. Be bloody, bold, and resolute. Who laugh to scorn the power of men. For none, born of woman, shall harm Macbeth. Then live, Macduff. What need I fear of thee? Yet I'll make assurance doubly sure, and take a bond of fate. Thou shalt not live, that I may tell pale-hearted fear it lies, and sleep in spite of thunder. What is this that rises like the issue of a king, and wears upon his brow the round and top of sovereignty? Listen, but speak not to it. Be lying, metal, proud, and take no care, who shapes, who breath, or who fires are, that thou shalt not thank him be, until great burden would dine on the hill, shall come against him. That will never be. Who can impress the forest and bid the tree unfix his earthbound root? Sweet bones. Good. Rebellious dead rise never till the wood of Burnham rise. In our high place Macbeth shall live the lease of nature and pay his breath till time and mortal custom. Yet my heart throbs to know one thing more. Tell me if your art can tell so much. Shall Banquo's issue ever reign in this kingdom? Seek to know no more. I will be satisfied! Deny me this, and an eternal curse will fall upon you. Let me know. Why sings that cauldron? What noise is this? Show. 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 Show her eyes. Grieve her heart. Come, oh, my shadow, so depart. Thou art too like the spirit of Banquo. Down! Thine crown to sear my eyeballs. Thy hair, thy gold brown brow, is like the other. And the third is like the former. Filthy hags, why do you show me this? Another. The fourth. Start eyes. What will the line stretch on to the crack of doom? Another yet. A seventh. I'll see no more. And yet an eighth appears and bears in his hand a glass that shows me many more. And some I see two full balls and treble scepters carry. Sight. Now I see it is true. The blood altered Banquo smiles upon me. And what's that then for hers? What? Is this so? Ay, lady, all this is so. But why stands Macbeth thus amazedly? Come, sisters, cheer we up her sprites and show the best of our delights. I'll charm the air to give it sound while you perform your antic round that this great queen might kindly say our duties did her well <laughs>
is your grace's will? Saw you the beard sisters. No, my lady. Can they not buy you? Indeed not, my lady. Infected be the air whereupon they ride. Damn be all that trust them. I did hear a ringtone. Who was it? It was a message, my lady. They bring word that Macduff has fled to England. Fled to England? Aye, my lady. Time thou anticipates my dread exploits. Flighty purpose never overtook unless deed go with it. From this time on, the very first things of my heart shall be the first things of my hand. And to crown thoughts with acts, be it thought and done. The castle of Macduff will I surprise. Seize upon Fife. And put to the edge of the sword his wife, his babes, and all their unfortunate souls that trace him in his line. No boasting like a fool, this deed I'll do before the purpose cool. No more sights. Where's the assassin? Come bring me where she is. <laughs> 